I've been in the private equity and venture capital business for the last 20 years. Uh, originally uh, with firms like Keystone Capital, Advent International, and then got into the entrepreneurial end of technology, investing, and operating. So I formed and founded about a half dozen companies uh, in the software as a service space, social gaming space, and uh, I've been a very active operator and investor in tech companies. The first time I heard about Bitcoin was uh, our social gaming company based in Singapore started looking at Bitcoin circa 2009, 2010. It's painful to even say that. And uh, we were keeping an eye on it and then got busy on other things and then kind of resurfaced again for me uh, earlier this year. And so uh, about six months ago, uh, I started getting into the currency, which makes me more uh, lucky than smart. Uh, but I think the next chapter, uh, in terms of getting smart on the space, despite it being at $1,000 uh, uh, Bitcoin, is to also look at ecosystem companies uh, in the space. And we've uh, invested into GoCoin, we've invested into ExpressCoin. Uh, we'll probably make another handful of investments over the next uh, couple quarters. So we're very uh, bullish on the space very bullish on Bitcoin as, uh, as a currency, and I uh, still think uh, it's got a long way to go. Well, well, what's interesting now is unlike a lot of uh, investment areas that we participate in, I almost feel like there's somebody pressed the slow-mo button on the movie. And so we're watching this, and uh, you have all these people at this conference. You have China buying Bitcoin in mass. At the same time, for the average guy to go on and buy Bitcoin, it's a cumbersome process, it's a scary process. You got uh, uh, legislative overhang, you have all these things that uh, make the average person uh, repel against it. They, they talk about it, uh, they don't understand it, they're scared of it, and, and that kind of creates this like handbrake in the, in the space where guys like me uh, are looking at it and saying, well, I'm fast forwarding this movie. And I know it's I, I know how this is going to play out, or at least I'm making a bet on how it's going to play out. So I like that, and it's very uncommon. Typically, when you want to invest in a space, usually it's a it's the the freight train is going 100 miles an hour, and you'd be lucky to jump on it uh, in in the right way. So this is uh, has got that dynamic, and I don't see that dynamic very often. I just spent some time with uh, Bobby Lee from BTC China, and uh, I think he's doing all the right things to make. Uh, Bitcoin a great uh, experience in China. I think he's uh, putting in all the infrastructure. I think he's surrounding himself with the right investors and he's doing it right. And uh, I think it's important for the space because he's uh, at the tippy top of the mountain and uh, everybody's looking at him. Uh, the, the market and the, and the pricing is very sensitive to what's going on in China. And we're lucky to have a guy like that running the show, extremely professional and uh, just a great guy. Uh, some of the other intriguing uh, technologies and companies, I I've seen everybody uh, looking at building platforms, looking at building insurance products surrounding this. So think about, uh, and it just, this conversation just happened uh, a few minutes ago, uh, this gentleman is putting together an insurance product to insure wallets. And uh, you know, going back on that uh, cumbersome, scary process, if your wallet's insured, that's going to get another wave of, of uh, uh, people to onboard onto the currency. It's going to get existing guys to say, okay, now I'm going to re-up because I feel a lot more comfortable having uh, an insured wallet. And that's, uh, uh, th those are some of the dynamics that are going to help uh, increase the, the size of this wave.